Well, hello there and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be discussing a couple products that people are saying are dupes for popular Supergoop products. Now, I'm a huge fan of Supergoop, so of course I had to investigate these and give you guys my thoughts. But before we get into it, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you enjoy videos like this. The three products in particular that we're going to be talking about dupes for are the Unseen Sunscreen, the glow screen and the glow oil. I've got demos and swatches for you guys, so if that sounds exciting, let's jump right into it. So because it is my favorite, we are gonna start with the glow screen. I do have a more in-depth review and demo up already on my channel, and I will link that down below in case you haven't seen it already. But just to give you a rundown of the product, it is a beautiful sunscreen that it is best known for giving the skin a really glowy look. The product that it is supposedly duped by is this Sunbum Glow 30. You get two ounces for $15.99, and just like the name would suggest, it is also a glowy sunscreen. Both of the sunscreens claim to be non-comedogenic and reef friendly. So obviously right off the bat, the biggest difference here is price, and that is going to be a recurring theme throughout this video. You're truly getting a lot of bang for your buck with the Sunbum, but the Super Goop is SPF 40. Another main difference that I noticed was the ingredients list. And I think that this is worth mentioning, especially when it comes to skincare products, because we do buy skincare products with the hope that it will help make our skin be better. And therefore the ingredients do matter. When it comes to duping makeup, I don't think that the ingredients matter as much, but here I definitely think it's worth taking into consideration. The Super Goop Glow Screen has hyaluronic acid, vitamin B5, niacinamide, all skincare ingredients that we love to see in our skincare. Now the Sun Balm does have Cockadoo Plum, which has antioxidant properties and also contains vitamin C. So the Sun Balm definitely has something that's good for the skin, but I think that overall, the Super Goop Glow Screen definitely has a more sophisticated ingredient list. Something that the Sun Balm has over the Super Goop is the fact that the Sun Balm actually claims to be water resistant for 80 minutes minutes, whereas the glow screen, I can't find anywhere on the website that says that this particular sunscreen is water resistant. Now talking about the texture, the sun balm is definitely a little bit more runny, um, definitely slipped through my fingers a little bit more than the super goop glow screen. And when it comes to the actual shade or the tint on my skin, while they both have that nice skin tint to it, the super goop glow screen definitely was closer to my skin tone on the warmer champagne side as opposed to the sun bum, which was a little bit more on the silvery side. And this is a little of nitpicky, but it might be worth trying out the sun bum if you have more of a cooler undertone. I don't notice a fragrance with either product, which is good. And something I forgot to mention is that the active ingredients are the exact same between the both products. And I mean the chemical sunscreen filters that they use in the product. So is this sun bum glow 30 a dupe for the super goop glow screen? I say it's pretty close. I don't want to call it an exact dupe, mainly because of the ingredient list and because of that slight difference in the tint and the way that it looks on my skin. I definitely find myself reaching for the glow screen much more. I don't really reach for them interchangeably, but I use them for the same purpose, which is a sunscreen and a glowy primer. So let's go ahead and call this pretty much a dupe, but not an exact dupe. Now I'm moving on to a super good product that was actually new to me, and that is the Glow Oil SPF 50. You get five ounces for $38, or like in my case, one ounce for $15. It's meant to be used on the body as sun protection, but also to give you a nice glow. Now our dupe, the Kroger Sunscreen Oil Spray SPF 50. For this one, you're getting 7.2 ounces for $11.07, making this entire one officially less expensive than the one ounce that I bought from Supergoop. Both are reef friendly and water resistant up to 80 minutes, and they both contain a nice blend of oils. They have the same active sunscreen ingredients, and they both contain triglycerides, which we love to see in skincare. And I'm just reading this off the ingredients list, but they both contain sunflower oil, coconut oil, grapeseed oil, meadow foam seed oil, but the Kroger contains lemon peel extract, tangerine peel extract, and added fragrance, whereas the Super Goop contains cucumber extract, soybean oil, and no added fragrance. When it comes to the texture, I felt that the Kroger felt a little bit more oily and the Super Goop felt more like a dry oil. You can definitely smell that fragrance in the Kroger oil, but it's not bad. It's a nice light sweet scent, but it's definitely noticeable. And there is no noticeable scent in the Super Goop. 
So do we have a dupe here? I'm gonna go ahead and say yes on this one. If the fragrance doesn't bother you and you have access to Kroger, then definitely pick this one up. They're similar enough, they both are SPF 50, and they both give you that really beautiful glow on the skin. Last but not least, we are going to discuss the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. I think that this one is definitely the most popular Super Goop sunscreen, and I think it's because it's very lightweight on the skin, and it's also completely invisible. While I prefer the glow screen, I definitely can appreciate the fact that this sunscreen goes on completely invisible, especially as a black girl. The Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen has an SPF rating of 40, and you get 1.7 ounces for $38. And to dupe this one, I have not one, but two possible dupes. And the first one comes from Kroger yet again, and it is the Sunscreen Invisible Gel SPF 40. On it, it says to compare to the active ingredients of Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen, and you get three ounces for $11.99. The other possible dupe is the Trader Joe's Daily Facial Sunscreen. This also has an SPF rating of 40, and you get 1.7 fluid ounces for $8.99 making it the least expensive sunscreen in this video. So let's talk about the ingredient comparison. Just like all of the other products I've mentioned, they have the exact same active ingredients. And I think that across the board, all of these dupes did a great job when it came to that. The Unseen Sunscreen contains silicones, triglycerides. The Kroger Invisible Gel seemed to be really heavy on the silicones. And I think that this ends up contributing to the texture. The Trader Joe's sunscreen, however, had a nearly identical ingredient list to the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. When it came to the scent, again, none of them smelled like anything, which is wonderful. So let's talk about the texture. The texture of the one that comes from Kroger is really thick, really heavy. I felt it on my skin and it was not comfortable. While it did go on invisible, just like the Unseen Sunscreen, that texture really turned me off and therefore I cannot call it a dupe of the Unseen Sunscreen. The Trader Joe's, however, feels nearly identical. I would say it's just slightly thicker than the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen, which is very impressive, especially when you consider the price. So when it comes to the Trader Joe's Facial Sunscreen, definitely a dupe of the Unseen Sunscreen. If you can get your hands on it from Trader Joe's, definitely do so. Anyways, guys, that wraps up my video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments if you agree and think that these products are dupes. And let me know down in the comments if you have any other products that might be dupes for these because I'm always on the hunt. Thanks again for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye. Told you you so extra, but I know I'm the same. Love me in spite of my trauma. Give me what I need instead of